Now the latest from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Scotts Bluff Body and Paint, you're driving home our reputation. Couple features on today's update here at the TV Sports Desk. Let's start with high school soccer. On Tuesday, the Scotts Bluff girls team earned a sub-district championship win over Lexington 5-1. It was their eighth win in their last nine matches. In that victory, senior Ella Foote scored a couple of goals to give her 28 on the year, and that's a new school record. The old record was 26, and that was set by Ella's older sister Emma, head coach Chad Larson, on the big accomplishment. Yeah, and I think, you know, once she got it, you could just kind of see that sigh of relief, like, oh, I got it, you know, and then she could just go out and play. But I, it's a testament to her work ethic. I mean, last year, from last year to this year, she's a completely different player. She's moving all over the place. She's striking the ball so much better. She's playing with her left foot. Uh, she's a completely different player, and I, and I absolutely love that she plays for us. With the win, the Scotts Bluff girls auto-qualified for a Saturday district final. Those pairings released this morning. They're the number 13 seed, and they've got a long road trip to play for seed Bennington. There's no pressure on us. I mean, we're probably going to head out east, and the competition out east is intensely fierce. We know that. Um, but we're up to the challenge, and I told these girls, you know, I'd, I would have no qualms about putting them up against anybody, you know. Um, but again, definitely a challenge. So we're going to celebrate this, obviously, but then uh, we got to get to work tomorrow and uh, start running some numbers and see who we're going to play and how we're going to play them. They draw the Bennington Badgers and the Long Drive East to play the role of underdog on Saturday. The Scotts Bluff boys team lost to Lexington on Tuesday, but they qualify for a district final as well. They'll play at Omaha Scott on Saturday. On Wednesday, it was a stop up at WNCC where sophomore women's basketball player Mackenzie Joseph signed to play at the D1 level. She'll be returning to her home state of Louisiana to play at the University of New Orleans. Uh, honestly, this is a dream come true. I, I always wanted to go Division I. You know, that was a goal for everybody who helped me get here. Um, I really liked playing basketball when I was younger, so like, being here at this stage now and just knowing that I'm going to Division One is a blessing. This past season, Joseph averaged just over 11 points per game, adding five rebounds per contest. She talked about her time as a member of the Cougar women's program. It's definitely been a good thing. I really liked playing here for the past two years. Uh, the teammates I've met, the team this year especially, um, I feel like this is another place that I can call home. Now with a dream coming true to play D1 basketball, she knows she'll have to up her game even more to become a solid contributor at New Orleans. Definitely work on more of my IQ in basketball. I mean, I definitely think it grew playing here for the past two years, you know, with Coach Isaac. So I feel like definitely just listening to more of my coaches and listening to more of my coaches, my future coaches, and just focusing more on the IQ aspect. New Orleans, four hours from her hometown of Vinton, Louisiana, Mackenzie Joseph said she's glad her family will be able to watch her play in person once again. Congrats to Mackenzie Joseph heading to the University of New Orleans. Also quickly, tomorrow a big home doubleheader for the Cougar baseball team against NJC. We'll have the games with Chuck Schwartz on KOLT at 1245. That's the latest from right here at the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Today, I'm Chris Cottrell.